Hey everyone, Mike here from Replica Airguns Get Fit Over 40, uh, doing a dual video again. You're probably saying, Mike, what was with all of these camera videos? We're done. I thought you did fitness. I thought you did air guns. Why are you making all these camera videos? Well, sometimes I just go through this sort of itch where I got to update some stuff. And so I updated my uh, camera, the one that you're actually viewing me as right now. That's my uh, Insta360. And so I did that video already. We talked about that one. So watch that one. A little bit of an upgrade to get some other camera viewpoints, 360 video, some 4K video, you know, just improve the video quality overall um, for my YouTube videos. And uh, my camera glasses that I had, these were the pivot head recons. I've been using them for mainly for the air gun videos because they're protective glasses when I shoot the air guns and they have a camera in them and a microphone. So I can record audio, I can record video from the point of view of basically, you know, aiming the gun and all that. And they've been, I've had these, I can't remember exactly how many years. I'm gonna say seven or eight, well, maybe six or seven years. I'll put, I'll put it up on the screen. But I bought them a long time ago. They were really expensive back in the day. They were pretty much top of the line. You couldn't get any better at the time. And uh, they've been really good. They've actually lasted this time. The batteries in them have lasted. They're starting to fall apart. Little bits and pieces like the are falling the nose little the nose little um, pads here they've fallen off and got lost a long time ago and broke, and uh, but they still work. I mean they still work. It's just that sometimes I run out of juice. The battery just isn't as as effective as it used to be. And I thought you know it's been a long time. Let's see if I can upgrade these a little bit. Get something that's not going to let me down in terms of battery um, strength. You know long term battery so I can get through these videos without them dying on me and maybe a little higher quality. So I bought these iview and they're the vistas okay pivot head is unfortunately out of business or i would have bought them from them i cannot find any product anymore they're they're done so i got the 64 gigabyte version this one does up to 4k video i won't be shooting in 4k just simply because it's going to be 24 frame per second and i like the faster frame rates i like to shoot in 60 frame things look a little smoother and since i'm using 1080p 60 frame with pretty much everything that I shoot. I'll try and have consistency with the same frame rate, same resolution with these. And so I'm hoping that uh, the quality will be similar to my old pivot head recons. Um, that's the idea here. I, I have recorded some outside and inside video. So I already have a little bit of some feedback I can share with you, but I will be sharing those videos with you guys. Uh, before I do that, I just wanna show you, here's the box, you know, it's packaged quite nicely. Uh, you get a nice case, okay? You can put everything in, really cool. Gotta like that. Uh, it came with the, uh, these are the polarized lenses, but I don't wanna use polarized lenses because I shoot mainly indoor again. So I took those out, put the clear lenses in. They're polycarbonate. They are um, impact resistant. So if I get hit with something, they're not gonna shatter. They're gonna protect my eyes. Of course, you have the USB cable. You have a little pouch to put them in, right? To protect them. And of course, you have this uh, cleaning cloth to clean the lenses. Very important to clean the lenses. You get a lot less glare and fogginess, especially when you're pointing at lights or bright you know, backgrounds, you get a lot less of that. So um, what I can tell you is I significantly notice a difference indoors with them. In low light, the eye views are much better. They seem to handle the low light much better. Everything looks crisper and clearer, less grain and grit. Uh, and so I'll show you that at the end of the video. I'll do an inside comparison. Unfortunately, the pivot heads are pointed a little higher inside, so you, you're not seeing the same camera angle, but you'll get an idea what I'm talking about. The pivot heads just aren't quite as, um, they just don't handle the low light. Not that it's dark in here. I have a lot of light inside going on, but it's not as bright as outside. So outside, these did really well. They're, they held up their own. They held up really well outside, I would have to say, um, other than the frame rate. These ones only do 30 frame. They weren't quite as smooth, um, but they both, um, if anything, there was a little more contrast and, you know, I would say they handled the low light or the brighter lights almost better than the eye views, which uh, I wouldn't say they blew out, but when, especially when looking back into the brighter sort of the, it was interesting sunlight. There was some sun coming through the clouds. So that when you're looking into the light, cameras tend to almost get a cloudiness to them. They get that sort of like glare look, like, you know, like when you're looking, when you're looking into the sun, you can't see as well either. So cameras handle it the same way. And if anything, the, uh, the pivot heads may have actually handled that a little bit better outside. I don't know why, but again, for the most part, I will be using these, uh, these iView Vistas inside for my shooting videos. That's kind of the main reason I have them. 
but I might periodically use them outside. It's just that they're, they're not really an action camera. They don't have much, if any, actual image stabilization. And since, you know, when you're walking around moving, you're always moving your head, and you think that your head's stable, but it's really your eyes that are stabilizing everything out. And so if you don't have, your head's just always doing this, right? And so it's not like even holding a camera with your hand. Your head just naturally wants to move all over the place. So it's really, you really have to think about it when you're shooting with, with camera glasses to not let your head move as much to try to keep it, it still and almost kind of use your eyes to look around. But you'll notice in the video that there's a lot of movement and it's almost unavoidable. Hopefully at some point they come out with a really good uh, image stabilization inside the camera glasses. But for now, there wasn't anything that I could find uh, that would do it. There really aren't a lot of options in camera glasses that have any sort of stabilization that's significant or that even do 1080p60. These were literally the only camera glasses that weren't like, you know, crazy amount. There was a pair of 360 camera glasses, but I think they were like $500 and I didn't want 360 camera glasses, but those would have been more stable. So that's it. Um, I'm going to show you the indoor and the outdoor video now so you can get an idea of what those videos look like and you can hear not just the video but the audio. Um, I would have to say that the iView um, Vistas have better audio. It's crisper, it's cleaner, it's actually stereo, um, which I probably would just make mono. But with all of these camera glasses, I've noticed that because the microphone is so close to my mouth, it's really easy to distort it. So when I get a little excited and I start talking loud, you can hear the distortion in the mic. And unfortunately, it's almost unavoidable because I always get excited when I'm making videos. Um, and I, I tend to, to um, clip the audio a little bit. It gets a little distorted. If I was just able to talk a little quieter, I would probably be able to use these guys as my main microphone because they sound really good. Again, as long as I don't speak too loud and get too excited, they sound really good. And I'll, you'll, you'll notice that in the video. Um, they they'll, will make a really good backup audio source. So if I'm making a video and for instance, my, uh, my lapel mic has an issue or something goes wrong with it or whatever, I can always rely on the camera glasses as a secondary audio source just in case so I don't have to necessarily redo the video. So that's always a good thing. So this is the indoor test for the pivot head recons and the iView Vistas. So we've got the pivot heads on top, the Vistas on the bottom. And we're just going to do an indoor test to see what the quality of the audio sounds like comparatively and the quality of the video. All right. So uh, indoors, because I do a lot of indoor field test shooting videos where I use the camera glasses because I use them as eye protection and I also, I'll obviously use them as another camera angle. So I thought I'd kind of like take a look here. We got looking at the target, see how it looks. Okay. You know, I walk up, I do that thing. I'm not going to shoot a gun. You'll see that hopefully down the road with these glasses, but just wanted to do a head-to-head -head comparison uh, of both of them because, well, the pivot heads have been good to me for probably six, seven years now. I can't remember when I got them, but they've been really good. They shoot at 30 frames versus the 60 frames per second 1080p that the Vistas do. So hopefully that extra, you know, double frame rate will look good. Will help with the video quality, smooth things out a little bit. In terms of uh, stabilization, it's not going to be too much of an issue, I don't think, but maybe a little bit. All right, let's do the outside version of this test. All right, here we go. Outside test for the pivot head recons on top and the Ivy Vistas on the bottom. I'm going to just walk around a little bit, test the audio outside, maybe some wind noise factor and uh, volume levels. Sometimes these things can distort a little bit. I may or may not use them for audio. I'm probably just going to use my lapel mic because it just does a better job. So I'm mostly interested in the actual video quality walking around out here and uh, hopefully you know contrast and from going from light to dark a little bit looking into the sun so it's a little bright over here this might affect the brightness a little bit we'll see here i'm actually going to pull these up and off just in case that affects brightness just wanted to separate them slightly no glare issues so hopefully you know the the new ones are going to be smoother hopefully uh, the pivot heads have been really good to me they've had good contrast and light and dark and good uh, resolution just they're starting to fail me the battery's starting to be a, an issue and they're starting to fall apart to be honest six seven years old uh, i think they've had their day so hopefully these uh, iview vistas get the job done least as good hopefully maybe a little bit better that's the goal here and last me a few more years and whatnot all right let's see what they look like go inside and check it out all right thanks for watching another getfitover40.com video and replica arrogance video 
Don't forget to subscribe to both those channels if you're a subscriber or not a subscriber of either one, or maybe you don't know about either channel, you're just a visitor for one or the other, then check out both channels. Uh, I, I make videos for both of them. More videos for Replica Air Guns, a little less for the Get Fit Over 40, but I do try to make videos for both channels as often as I can. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for both of those channels. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care.